All right, so it's time for an 18 month breastfeeding update. Um, and there are some big news this time. Um, so I can't even remember the last time I did a breastfeeding update. It's been a while. So over the past couple months, um, you know, I put the pump away at a year. And then we, we've just been trying to get down the number of times we were nursing every day. Um, just because it was like all day he wanted to nurse. Like instead of taking a sip from a sippy cup, he was trying to get me. And um, I wasn't okay with that. Some moms are. It just wasn't for me. <laughs> and uh, so we got down to three times a day. And then um, probably like over the past six weeks, we've really gotten down to once a day. Um, except for the days that I worked, which are three days a week, we would do twice a day. Um, because I wanted to nurse him before I went to work, so I wasn't uncomfortable at all because I work um, really long shifts. So that was going great. Um, you know, he would just have his sippy cup of water during the day. Um, he was getting a sippy cup of toddler formula for um, nap time and bedtime. And then other than that, he was nursing when he woke up. And that was kind of our schedule. Um, and then I've been having some problems with fertility and we've kind of traced it back to um, the breastfeeding. We've been trying to get pregnant for, we're on our seventh month now of trying. And I'm ovulating and um, my little face has a normal length and everything like that. Um, and the only thing we could trace it back to is the breastfeeding. Um, I had a miscarriage three cycles ago, um, a really early loss. And after talking with um, some lactation consultants, we kind of um, figured out that I don't have a full return to fertility yet, um, that probably the lining of my uterus is not adequate to sustain a pregnancy, um, and that that is probably related to the breastfeeding. Um, we conceived my son on the first month that we tried, and um, I have really regular cycles, and I'm ovulating, and nothing has changed in our um, lifestyle. You know, it's the same father. Um, so nothing has changed except for the breastfeeding, and, um, you know, I talked to a lactation consultant at the hospital. Um, we had a long discussion, and we kind of traced it back to it probably is the breastfeeding that is kind of um, prohibiting me from getting pregnant and a lot of women can get pregnant when they're breastfeeding um, but some women just have to wean completely before they can get pregnant um, and we kind of figured out that I'm probably one of those women so um, anyways we have started weaning and I've looked on YouTube for videos of weaning and people don't really talk about it that much. So um, that's why I'm putting this out here. And if you're going to judge me for weaning at 18 months, then, you know, I think for our family, it's more important um, for my son to have a sibling close in age than for me to continue breastfeeding him once a day. So, um, you know, that's the decision we've come to. That's what's going to work for our family and for our child. And um, that's just where we're at, and that's the decision we made. And if you have anything nasty to say about it, then, you know, don't watch my videos. So, um, anyways, March or February 28th was the last time that I nursed him. Um, it wasn't planned that way, but um, that's just there was an opportunity that presented itself to go ahead and start weaning. Um, and since it was in the back of my mind that that's probably something we wanted to do soon, we just decided to go with it. So um, the 28th, we nursed when he woke up. And then on, Feb on March 1st, <laughs> I keep flipping the month there. Um, on March 1st, when he woke up that day, he I decided I wasn't going to offer it. But if he asked, I would nurse him. And he does ask. He'll say mama milk or he'll um, go like this and that means that he wants to nurse. So he didn't ask. We stayed busy the whole day. He didn't ask at all. On 
Wednesday, the second, he asked once. He said, Mama Milk? And he came and sat on my lap. And um, I just distracted him, and he was absolutely fine. Didn't ask again, didn't whine about it, nothing. Um, and then, you know, it's he hasn't woke up yet on Thursday, so I don't know how today will go. Um, and if he, if he throws a fit and he wants to nurse... I'm going to let him, um, but it's not been an issue at all, really, for us. So, um, you know, I'm not saying I'm done nursing him, but, you know, if he throws a fit one day and decides he wants to nurse, I'm going to let him. There probably won't be much milk there, and then he'll just be done with it, and that will be it. Um, but the last nursing session we had, like, really stands out in my mind, and it is kind of special to me, so... Um, I just I think when I was nursing him I just like kind of knew that that was going to be the last time and it was kind of neat because there were tornadoes here that day <laughs> that's exciting right but there was no power um so there was like nothing to distract us nothing to just you know how easily distracted a toddler can get um but he nursed for like I want to say like 45 minutes that morning and that was it's very unusual for him to nurse more than like five minutes. He's just a busy boy. But since the power was out and he was, you know, sleepy and um, the sirens were going off, like that's why he woke up early and he just wanted to snuggle with mama. And, you know, he, it was, it was just special. It's not, um, it wasn't a common occurrence for him to snuggle and nurse like that. So, you know, at least um, that is like my last nursing memory of him and I'm not to say I'm done nursing but um yeah so if if he asks and he gets really upset I'm going to offer it to him still but um so far we've been doing good and it's been three days now so um I was really worried about like the pain of weaning and honestly I've had slight discomfort but it's been great. Like, um, I haven't had any like swelling, engorgement, pain, nothing like that. The only thing that I have had is I felt my milk let down, I think like probably three or four times. Um, and it's just like the tingly, like milk let down feeling, but it's always relieved by nursing. And since I'm not nursing anymore, there's just that slight discomfort that lasts, um, I don't know, 15 minutes or so, and then it goes away. So um, that's the only like discomfort that I've had, and um, I don't feel full, I don't feel engorged, nothing. So um, I guess this is kind of how it is to naturally wean. And I should say for like a week before we decided um, if an opportunity, you know, he didn't ask, presented itself like that, um, probably a week before that, I was only giving him one breast a day, so instead of both. So we went, you know, one feeding a day, both both breasts to one breast a day. So it was only, you know, every 48 hours each breast would be nursed on. So, you know, my body had to windle down the supply, um, and that's where we're at. Since I started weaning, my face is broken out, which I kind of think is a good sign because that means something hormonally is changing. So um, as fun as it is to have your face all broken out, um, you know, it's kind of encouraging that something hormonally is changing. So hopefully with um, the, the weaning and I'm not saying we're done, but for right now it kind of looks that way, um, you know, Maybe we can get a little brother or sister. But um, if you guys have any questions about breastfeeding, um, newborn to toddler, uh, I've been through a lot. So um, I'm just putting myself out there as a resource. So feel free to ask questions. Um, if you don't want to leave them as a comment, message me. If I get enough questions, I'll probably do a video um, response to them. If I only get a couple, uh, I will just respond to you each individually. So, um, yeah.
that's where we're at right now. And um, I'm a little sad, but at the same time, I know that it's best for um, our family in general if we we do wean now so we can have another baby. So, um, and I am doing trying to conceive vlogs and everything if you want to follow me with those to see if we get pregnant after weaning. Hopefully we do. Hopefully this was um, the cause of it. There's not really a way to know until um, you wean and even then your prolactin levels really do need to drop um, before you can get pregnant. In my case, for women who are sensitive to things like that, um, you know, it might take a while for the prolactin to, to drop. So that's where we're at. And like I said, it's bittersweet, but I think it's what's best. And, um, you know, my son presented the opportunity to do it. And, um, obviously my body is responding well because I'm not in pain or anything. So it's been a pretty natural weaning process. Um, although I'm sure if I offered my son wouldn't refuse, but it's not like a need that he has right now. So if, if he needs it, then, you know, I'm still here for him. So, all right. I think that's it, girls. Thanks for watching.